was your impetus for this project? What, where, where did it start? In November of last year, I approached Dad about the idea of doing a documentary on Spock as a part of the celebration of the anniversary of the original series. And I really enjoyed the process. It was like keeping my dad close and reassessing his life and and being very present with him, you know, in the editing room, looking at all the material, uh, all the interviews we conducted, people talking about him, kept him quite alive and and new discoveries about my dad or things I had forgotten. Uh, we, we got a lot of um, material that was submitted to us, fans submitting pictures of the family I didn't remember seeing. I didn't remember the photo shoots. Um, that was really wonderful to get more uh, material for our family albums from that period. Prior to Star Trek, I never had a job that lasted longer than two weeks. Never. Two weeks. One of the things that impressed me most about working on this project um, that I learned about my dad was the impact that he had on the people that he worked with. And this was particularly true of the new cast of the uh, of the Star Trek films, the under the J.J. Abrams uh, production banner on uh, the last three Star Trek films. Um, the We interviewed those people in September of last year. They were working then on Star Trek Beyond. This is the first film without my dad. And they all told me repeatedly about um, how much they loved and respected my dad, that they felt validated in working on that project because my dad participated with them in Star Trek 09, the first J.B. J. Abrams directed film. And they said that he, they very much felt that his spirit was still with them, even though he wasn't participating actively in the third installment, Star Trek Beyond, that they felt that his presence was very much with them, and they still felt inspired by him. And that was very um, overwhelming for me. It was really comforting for me.